Hello, and thank you for taking a look at our business plan specific for an adult daycare center. Uh, very quickly, I'm going to go through the Word document, and I'll show you the uh, financial model. It has an automated table of contents, so as you add content, these page numbers will automatically update for you. It starts with the executive summary, outlining the operations of the uh, adult daycare center. And all of the charts and graphs that you see can be modified and edited uh, uh, using the accompanying model, which I'll show in just a moment. Chapter 2 deals with the amount of money you're looking to raise and how you intend to use those funds. Chapter 3 is an overview of the services you're offering. Chapter 4 is the industry analysis, and everything is current through this year, and we update everything yearly. Chapter 5 is the marketing plan. Chapter 6 is an overview of your organization. And again, all of the charts regarding the headcount and payroll can be adjusted as well, and I'll show you how to do that in just a moment. And then, of course, the financial plan, which is done on a three-year basis and has a profit and loss statement, cash flow analysis, balance sheet, break-even analysis, and business ratios. And then in year one, we break down the profit and loss monthly, quarterly for year two, and quarterly for year three. And the same with the cash flow analysis. It's done on a monthly basis for the first year, and then quarterly for year two, and quarterly for year three. Let me just scroll back up real quick. And here's the uh, financial model. Very easy to use. A vast majority of uh, what you have to do is just simply on this one tab. Uh, there's also a dashboard here so that as you make changes, you can see how everything else is affected. Uh, this way you don't have to scroll back and forth between all these different tabs. Uh, for instance, let's say instead of uh, having an initial care fee, uh, let's say you're gonna be a bigger facility, and let's say you'll generate $50,000 a month of services. Uh, rather than 35,000. As you can see, the charts and graphs here updated, and this uh, flowed through all of the other charts as well. Uh, so let me go ahead and just put that back down to 35,000. And as you can see, this all adjusted. Um, the only other tab you have to modify is just the personnel. So here you enter your salaries, there you enter the headcount, um, and you can add additional positions as needed. Um, and out comes your personnel uh, chart. These are the only two tabs you have to modify. And once you do that, here's your profit and loss statement, cash flow analysis, balance sheet, uh, the expanded profit and loss statement, uh, the ones that you saw in the back, same with the cash flow analysis, your loan amortization table, tax assumptions, break even analysis, and business ratios. Um, just one quick correction, the, the only other thing you have to add in is the use of funds, um, which is done right here. You put in the amount of equity you're providing. If you're looking for a bank loan, you put that here and how you intend to use those funds. And you're all set to go. Uh, and that's essentially it. Uh, thank you very much for taking a look. If you have any questions, you can reach us anytime. Take care.